Hey, how's it going guys? My name's MS and welcome to episode 28 of MS Minecraft Reboot. So we're starting today's episode off in the village today because uh, we need to get some of these guys for our uh, creeper farm. And we've had this cat here, he's been running around in this little fence since here we started this world. And uh, the logical thing to do would be to grab this guy. But uh, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to go over to village number two and we'll find a cat from there. Since that cat clearly likes staying in that fence. So he's going to stay in that fence forever. We just need to find a cat here. I'm sure there are some. It's just a case of finding them. I remember there being cats up on this hill. Because uh, there was one that I really liked, and I was struggling to tame him. I've got all the fish from our AFK fish farm. I just need to find the cats. Um, this could prove to be harder than I thought. Let's uh, crank up the... Well, friendly creatures is turned off, so that's not going to help. Uh, we need to find a cat. Um, and that's... Proving to be pretty difficult. I'm not, I'm not even sure if there are any cats here. I'm sure they respawn, but... Well, clearly I haven't got any, so... That's not good. We could always go to one of the other villages, I guess, to grab one, if we can't find one here. But, uh... That's a bit... Of a trek, just for some cats. But we might actually go do that. Okay, so this is one of the villages that we found quite a few episodes ago now. I'm sure there's got to be a cat somewhere here. There, there has to be. There's a pit of death there. Hopefully the cats didn't fall down there. I don't think cats take fall down. Oh, I hear one. I hear one. He's in there with the uh, with the other animals. Let's grab him. Come here. Come on, don't make this hard. I'm pretty sure if, if he's... doesn't matter if he's... Hey, we got him. Sweet. Right, uh, we have a cat already that we can breed him with. So we just have to fly low to the ground and he should const he should still teleport to us. So that's the plan. Okay, so we've got our cat. Uh, he should hopefully just teleport straight to me. Where is he? He's here somewhere. Probably have to walk a little bit closer. Ah, there he is. Uh, we're going to quickly go to sleep. Get rid of the night. Uh, apparently there is a monster nearby. Oh, there's a creeper over there. Let's try and sleep in this house instead. And, um, well, we can breed them. So that's the plan. I've got tons of fish from the AFK fish farm that... Uh, we made early on in this series and in our very first little hut we also do have this cat so we should have two cats with me right now but I don't see either of them <laughs> who killed a chicken where, where are my cats let's just like run over here and hopefully they teleport to me They've literally disappeared. What the hell happened to them? <laughs> oh, didn't it do it doing anything with pets in this game? It's just a nightmare. Oh, he's gone on the chest. Get off the chest. How do you get these guys off it? Come on, get up. What is up with these cats? You are annoying. I really don't like cats in Minecraft. I've never liked them. But now I now I don't like them even more. I want to get him off the chest. He's purring. I don't purr, get off the chest. Like, how do you get these guys off chests? Oh, I'm just gonna break it. 
You are so annoying. Get over here. Right, we have the one. Sit him down here. You are supposed to follow me. What has that cat found that he wants now? What are you doing? Come this way. What is he... Are they after the chickens? Like, does he see a chicken somewhere? Just get over here. Right, you can just sit. I'm just going to sit you down. And you both can sit together. And you can stay there and think about what you've done. <laughs> Alright, we need to go get my stuff. Ugh. These cats did this. Where's my chest? Ah, oh, I just threw the chest out. Alright, come on. Give me the chest. Put the chest back there. And just do this. Okay, I think that was all of the junk that was in this chest back in there. Black bed? I can't remember if that was me or not. Ah, that's, that, that'll do. Right, close that door. These cats are never going back in there. Right, so. Find out. There we go. These guys should breed. I wonder what kind of cat we'll get. We'll get the little... I don't even know what you call this cat. But uh, we'll, I'll keep breeding these guys because we need these guys for the... For the creeper farm. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, all I've got for you at the moment. Not quite sure if we're going to do anything other than the creeper farm in today's episode. I'm sure we've, uh, I did say we'd play with the trident, and I did fully repair that. It's in the ender chest right here. Uh, I have already used it on one mob just because I wanted to see what it was like. But it's pretty fun. Um, we need to grab ourselves a thunderstorm. Um, Fortunately, there's no way to force a thunderstorm, so I'll just have to wait until we get one. And then we can have some fun lighting creepers. Oh, what the hell happened there? <laughs> right, I have no idea how this happened. We have a llama up on top of our like little fort, and that's not even our llama. I'm pretty sure this is our one over here. Oh, this one's not our llama. What? Oh, there's a wandering trader up there. Oh, you're joking. You're not going to sell anything up there, man. I say that. I'm still going to him. Right, what have you got? I wouldn't buy any of this. I want to kill him. I, I really want to kill him. Like, just maybe nudge him, maybe. Like, I don't know, just just like, oh, 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 look at him, speed hack. Damn, that guy, that guy did not like that. I want to tame these llamas. I think we need to kill the wandering trader to tame them. I did, I did successfully tame one one day, that one over there. And I did that by killing the wandering trader. They got hostile towards me. I let them kill me, and then I was able to do it. But I'm curious, if we kill the Wandering Trader without it counting as us killing him, will the llamas then become tameable? Let's find out. We also need some wheat, I think. Luckily, we have wheat in our farm. But uh, we'll use a flint and steel for this. And we'll find out what happens. Your end is close, Mr. Trader. Burn! Can't light this bit on fire, unfortunately. Oh, there's a torch on it, that's why. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Okay, let's give this a go. Uh, should now hopefully be able to trade to tame these guys. I can! Oh, that's amazing. So that is how you tame these trader llamas. That's awesome. I like these guys a lot more than the the other ones. I just don't really know what the point of them is. <laughs> you just ride them. You can't... Is the other one still up there? 
Is there still a llama up on top of the... Yeah, it... <laughs> yeah there is. Okay. We will trade this one as well. If I could, like, maneuver my flying. I need to get better at flying. That's for sure. But we can now... Why can I... Why can I tame that one and not this one? Do I need to give him some wheat or something? Oh! Yeah, apparently that's what I had to do. That was the trick. I wonder if this guy... This guy's going to end up staying up here now for the rest of the rest of the let's play. Is he supposed to kick me off? Or did we already tame him? Is he ours? I think he's ours. Yeah, I'm going to count him as ours. So, well, we've now got three, and they're all the white ones. We need to get the other coloured ones as well. But, uh, this village is pretty dead. Like, it would be nice if I finished that building over there, and had the villagers free roaming, but then they die, and that causes a whole bunch of problems. But, yeah, well, let's work on the creeper farm. Okay, with much difficulty, I managed to get one of the cats into the minecart, and now I just have to do one for every layer that we make. Fun. Okay, every single cat I breed is determined to go this way, and I just want to know what they're after. Must be the... is it the bed? Oh, wow! I had no idea they did this. Oh, that's kind of cute. But you really need to stop doing this stuff. Let's, uh, take you to the others. So, with much difficulty, I have got a cat on every layer of this creeper farm. We've only done four layers so far, because I want to test it before we carry on. Um, so, let's just take out these torches. And see what happens. Now, I have set up a little chamber where the creepers should die to full damage. Um, I've made it 24 blocks. I'm not sure if that's enough. So, I suppose this will be quite interesting. Um, I've lit up pretty much all of the caves around the area here, so this should already be quite effective. Uh, we will do more layers though, because we want to make it as good as we possibly can. But uh, I think we are close that trap door. And I think we're good to go. So I'm going to just fall down the trap. And they should land on that carpet. And let's just sort of see what happens. Let's see when a creeper comes. Okay, so we've got a creeper falling down here. Let's see if he dies. He definitely died. And, uh... We've already got 10 gunpowder, and I've left this thing running for about 5 minutes while I was at the cabin. So this is actually a functioning creeper farm now. It's just a case of making it more efficient now. And I'll just be doing that over time. A smooth transition from the creeper farm project to the gold farm. So we have spent quite a lot of hours here. Uh, I got. I watched the Minecon live stream, and I noticed that with the whole Never update now being announced, this farm is most likely gonna gonna break. So I want to make the most of this as I possibly can before it goes, and I want to store enough gold to last me for the rest of this world's lifetime. Like probably, like 
for all the beacons I'm going to want to do, all the trading, I want to have crazy amounts of gold. So we're just going to spend a lot of time here. You can tell by my level, I've, I've already spent quite a long time here already. Um, I'm going to use the levels I get from this to make my uh, super overpowered enchanted armor. Uh, I'll show you the little setup we've got. So I can turn this farm off by just closing the trap doors and they no longer get killed. The item setup I've got here is all of the, at the moment, how I've done it is all of the hoppers link to this one single chest and this chest gets clogged up very quickly. Uh, the, the, the chest array setup I've got here with the hoppers, it's not fast enough to handle the output of this farm, but it does it does work and I can leave it for several hours without my game like going too laggy. So it's working, I'm happy with it. The, we're going to, you know what we're going to do, we're going to turn off the hostile creature sounds. And we can turn, yeah, let's just leave the sounds pretty low. Um, how I've done it, and I suppose I'll uh, move out of this thing so I can just sort of show you, in case you're one of those people that are interested in this stuff. I've got, so all of the items go to this chest, and that goes to an item filter system. Um... There was... Yeah, so only gold ingots go through this line of chests. Only nuggets through this one. And rotten flesh through this one. I don't seem to get the chicken ones. and They don't seem to go through the farm. So I just sort of have left them. Uh, they then... Anything other than that, like the swords. Um, as you're about to see, if I take those nuggets, the swords... They go into this item dropper that shoots all of the swords. Apparently some of them do actually get out. I should probably put a block above that and that will stop them from escaping. But they get shot out and they land in that cactus there. So that stops the swords causing too much lag. And yes, yeah, that's pretty... It's working really well for what I want it to do. Uh, it's, it's, I know for a fact this is not the ideal setup that I could have for this farm, but uh, it's going to work. Um, at the end of the day, I think this farm is going to break. Uh, if not break, then it will definitely severely slow down. Or so. Um, better make the most of it. I'm not going to dedicate too much more time to it. Uh, the items go in here. So far, this is what I've got. Uh, I'm going to obviously convert all of these into golden blocks, and I want to have like chests full of golden blocks. That's like that's the dream. Um, so that's all the gold I've got so far. Then we've got the, in, uh, the nuggets. I've been crafting them as well into ingots as we go. So if I take, let's just take a bunch of these ing uh, nuggets. Uh, the new crafting table book is super good for this because I can just type in ingot and shift click and craft all the ingots I want it's so fast oh. and that's so much more convenient than having to do the whole drag thing several times but yeah I'm just throwing all of the ingots in here as I go so that's our first double chest full of gold and yeah um, obviously the rotten flesh we've got way too much rotten flesh like I know I said I was going to use this for trading but uh, I simply at the moment well what's that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 7 double chests full of rotten flesh and we have tons of them filled back at the zombie cabin as well so we've got rotten flesh for, for forever basically. I, I need to set up, like, I've got this, and we're going to put this on the to-do list. Um, I'll tell you what, let's go back to the overworld. I think we're done here. We're going to put this on the to-do list. We're going to make a rotten flesh room, and it's going to be full of chests with tons of rotten flesh, and it's going to have a bunch of villagers in there that have the rotten flesh trades, and it's going to be basically the room we spend, well, there's a lot of pigmen here. This is what happens when you AFK at the gold farm for 
for ages. You just pick men invading the overworld. Should we kill them? Should we do this? Let's let's have a little fight, shall we? Uh, we'll put all the sounds back to normal. And we're going to fight these guys. Should I risk it? 328 levels. Let's do this. If I die and lose 328 levels, it'll at least be funny for the camera. Oh, these pigmen are not happy. Come at me, guys. We're going to kill every single one of these guys. And I think we'll put a little time lapse on. Why not? Alright, so um, that was actually really fast. I think a lot of the Pikmin may have gone through the portal, and I'm kind of scared what's going to happen if I go back through, because they're all going to be angry at me. Um, so before we go through that portal again, we're going to spend all the levels, and I'll enchant some diamond armor. But um, the reason I wanted to come back here was because I wanted to show you the creeper farm, because it is at a stage where I'm prepared to say it's finished, but we could do more on it. So... Let's go and grab a night vision potion so that you can see in the dark room. Because the, the whole thing has now been darkened out. Uh, these night vision potions are great for YouTube people like me. But um, let's go there. It's quite a bit of a walk. We need to set up a speed beacon because walking through this place takes quite a while. And yeah... This is, if this is going to be my main base, I don't want to spend most of my time just walking. But here we go. So, let's drink this. So this is one layer. Uh, you guys have already seen this, but we've now done one, two, three, four, five, six layers. And this is really good. And if we go down, all the creepers go here. And they get funneled down here. And they die to full damage. And we'll just quickly break out. Uh-oh, I meant to use my silk touch on that. I guess I'll have to replace that glass later. But the creepers all, they, they fall down in here and they die to full damage. And I left this AFK in for about, I'd say, I'm not sure now. We could be thinking five, eight hours or so over a collective amount of time. And this is all the gunpowder we've got. This is good enough for me. Um, I'm one player. It's not like a server with multiple people. So this is going to be good enough for me. So I'm just going to use this farm. And if I ever run out of gunpowder, I can always just AFK here. It's fine. Um, this should be running throughout all the time we're at the, the main base as well. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. We've got a little water set up here to go up and down so if I go through here we get shot all the way up back to where we came from and then we just go down this way I should probably like fill the whole thing with wood so that the drop is consistent but that is our creeper farm and with that I think we've definitely used up our time for today so, between the this episode and the next episode, the main thing I'm going to do is spend my time um, at the gold farm and doing more enchanting for some more armour. We now have two extra sets of the super overpowered armour. And, yeah, I'm just going to keep on making more of these. I don't have to spend my diamond with them because uh, I've got the villagers in my trading room that can give me free diamond armor well i say free i trade them emeralds that i trade rotten flesh for so i've got a nice little system going i like this the furnace room has been super busy i'm not sure what it's cooking now i think it's doing some neverack uh, i've got tons of iron now um and i got that iron from a massive cave in session i did this cave in session was huge like i spent Ah, I guess two hours non-stop caving. Look at the glowstone. The glowstone looks really weird with the night vision on. I'm just getting distracted now. But um, 
I did a live stream for that. So if you guys, I I don't have a, I don't really live stream often at all. But every so often when I have some mundane, grindy tasks like long caving or maybe just branch mining with some music or whatnot, I'll, I'll probably if I if I can I'll just live stream it rather than uh, making a video about it. So. If you are interested in looking at my live stream, um, give it a follow, and then when I go live, you should get notified. The link is, well, it's twitch.tv slash ms underscore animator um, without the seven. So I'll put the link in the description as well. So if you do want to watch my live streams, feel free to. Um, I think there's only like, what, four or five viewers of this series. So... Yeah, I'm not really expecting anything to come from it, but I'm enjoying it. And I think when I start live streaming, I'm more, I focus more on the game than other things. Like once I start live streaming, I'm more dedicated to um, the tasks that I'm doing in the game. And I think it's it's a little bit more relaxing because it takes my mind off other things because I have to because I'm live streaming. But yeah um that's gonna be it for today guys uh, obviously we'll come up with some projects to do um i'm also actually there was one more thing i wanted to touch on on the series since uh we know we're getting an update with new biomes and uh new never biomes i'm gonna hold back now from exploring any new terrain in this world so we're gonna spend most of our time developing our base here which it still needs a lot of development on, so um, we're going to expand a whole new section in this area. I want to use this creeper farm to to have a button maybe here where it changes the creepers. So the creepers won't go here. Instead, they get taken to an area where we can use looting because I think that's a really smart thing to do. Um, we can weaken the creepers down so that one hit with a looting sword. We'll get loads more gunpowder doing that. And we also want to get some mob heads, and we could easily collect creepers with the, or charged creepers with this farm. But uh, I'm not sure which way would be the best way of doing it. But uh, that's all for today, folks. If you guys enjoyed, then you can look forward to future episodes of MS Minecraft Reboot. And yeah, uh, hopefully, if we go the way I'm hoping we're going to go, this series is going to end up being bigger and better than the OG series, MS Minecraft 2. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.